Everyone, welcome back to another episode of Astro Belly. Thanks for tuning in. We're playing more Valhalla today. I'm in Valhalla presently, harassing this poor bartender and everyone I see with a terrible accent. I don't even know where I'm from. I, I'm not even from any particular place. It's just a terrible accent. I'm here for more drinks. I got my last one though, but I just gotta talk this girl's ear off. Let's do this. Six years ago, a cash strap Dana Zane entered an under. I think I changed his accent. Holy crap, I think I changed his voice. Whatever. Underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there. I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had a prosthetic then, too. <clears throat> losing my voice. Losing my voice. <laughs> I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. I definitely changed his voice, but who cares? I don't even want to be consistent with this guy. <laughs> Threw it so hard, her arm fell off. But that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Yeah, get the hell out of my bar. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew Ben Nana was the right cho choice. Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, taking a little break. I love Dana. Kind of looks like a like a boy here, like a tough person. I don't know. Either way, she looks androgynous. I, I, either way, whatever. She looks cool. I like her. Break time. Okay, here we go. Uh, is she humming or? I'm just gonna pretend she's humming. <laughs> All right. Uh, ba ba ba. Let's start with all systems go. I remembered that one. I like that one. Uh, let's see. Your love is a drug. Hey, we get to, but it doesn't, it probably won't have lyrics, I'm assuming. Um, but I think it's newly available because we talked about it, maybe? We'll see. Um, I think, yeah, I think I'm seeing more, uh, less, less question marks. So, uh, out of orbit. That seems new. Heart of the city. That seems new. Um, uh, showtime. The assignment. Uh, yeah, done. Woo, yeah, this song, this song's my jam. Gets me started. I'm ready to work. Boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything all right? As all right as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything's being put in order. Brian, we're, Brian, we're trusting you, okay? Don't betray us, all right? Oh, I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. Aw, oh, thanks, boss. Looking out for us. Honestly, we probably just love working here because you're here. We like you a lot. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Oh. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. Oh, Brian, thank you for being upset on our behalf. We appreciate it. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. <laughs> what about Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a levit levitation potion and then threw himself off a building. Oh, that sounds terrible. Did he survive the incident? Did the potion work? Ah, uh, yes, the levitation potion story. You use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Just who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Right, because he had some shady incident in Hong Kong. He's running away from the, the law. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir! You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Oh, it's you! You were in that little article! Jesus Christ, I don't have that many voices. Let's see. Um. Um. 
a terrible European accent. Go. Excuse me, is this uh, well, VA11 VA Hall A Bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what is they planning now? Excuse me? Uh, okay, say was the one in the beginning. Oh, she, she's the White Knight's person, and this is her friend. She's got little twitching cat ears and drills? How does the regular hair turn into drills here? Huh. I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Oh, I know. That's Piano Woman. Easy. Sure. What was the drink whose name was... Beep, 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 beep. Piano Woman. I know it. There it is. Okay. Five at hide. One, two, three, four, five. I really like this song. It makes me very happy. Four, five. Um, two, Powder Delta. It's the same song, right? Jukebox? Yep. Uh, t uh, three, Flanner Dried. One, two, three. One, two, three. Aged, mixed. Done. Here you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So, you now say, Miss... I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yep. In fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh, God. So she left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Hell helmets. Hell, hell helmets. I'm just, I don't know. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Don't judge me. I've been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough, lucky enough to always leave it with people who will return it at least. Whoa, quite a few people. Says as much of a sociable girl as she is a total glutz. At least when she's not being serious, she's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place, or...? We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Say, is that Kira Miki's autograph on the glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday just before the concert. Really? <gasps> I mean, ah, uh, she did. I don't even care about Zetamiki at all. I don't care about her. Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep, the star like signature is hers. So your name is Jill, then? Yes. Ain't this nice? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just go, Miss Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes! Luckily, I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Ah, uh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? A car crash? Oh, you're helping, okay. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that was say. Yes. Will, will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another, another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Oh, okay. Creator's dearest friend. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I, gotta just, I have to search through every single one. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. Oh, uh, uh, they mentioned it, but I can't remember. I'm going to have to look through all of them. I'm so sorry. Um, is there a faster way? Bleeding Jane, Bloom Light, Blue Fairy. Let me, let, let's see if I can remember it by the name. Mars Blast, Moon's Blast, Sparkle Star, Suplex. Oh, there's actually one called the Suplex. Okay, Crevice Spike, Cobalt Velvet, Grizzly Temple, Gut Punch, Piano Woman, Pile Driver, Zen Star. Was it the Piano Man? Was it the Piano Man? Because there was a guy who played the piano and they made it in honor of him? Oh my god, it was it the Okay, if if I can't find it, I'm gonna go with Piano Man. Let's go through let's just let's just no, obviously not the beer. Um Bleeding Jane. I'm gonna just go through it. I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, I need to rest my throat for a quick second anyway. Oh, I just clicked on the same one. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's the Piano Man. Oh my God, this, you guys, I'm gonna have to actually remember this stuff between sessions. Maybe you guys can help me out, huh? You won't be able to in the episode when it happens, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to trust my gut and go with Piano Man because I think it was this one. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh, uh, can I save? I can't save in the middle of drink making. Damn it. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to trust my gut. I'm going to hope I'm right. One, two, three. One, two. So this is the girl that tests you, huh? 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Rocks, mi oh, not aged, mixed. I'm gonna hope this, please. That sounded like a good thing. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Okay, good. Thank God. Thank you. May I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not, or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers. Cat boomer, interesting. So it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So it had to be done. Otherwise, I would have died shortly after Bells. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. I'm, I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. <laughs> well, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. But their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs... It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah. I started with my grandpa's collection and have been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody, I don't tend to drink much. I see. S uh, I forgot your voice. I forgot your voice. Sorry I'm late. Welcome. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in rush hour traffic too and figured walking might be faster. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby and I climbed down. Climbed down? Took an air cab. Oh, I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink set, Vaz. You're at it again? You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever sells me. They need to be able to answer all these kinds of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. <laughs> what? Whatever. Please order something normal, would you? That'll be too fun to leave us, then. You'll have two drinks at once? No, we'll shelling. What? Like, half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's one for each? Don't well, you'll see. Two fringe weavers? Easy enough. Okay. I'm glad I can remember these. Fringe weavers. One, Adelheid. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All aged and mixed. Okay. Um, and then next... Wait, is that, is that what I want? Next. Okay, great. Oh, it, it, it just literally pressing that just takes me to slot two. Okay. One. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, all aged and mixed. Done. Uh, now I can serve them, right? So, uh, yep. Two French ravers. So, this one's for you and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You should have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. <laughs> Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved for when the one you're, you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know? Yeah, sorry. Should I say that boss got her head stuck because of a jammed button? Speaking of money, you're still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yup, you worried? I will refrain from now, for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be, uh, it'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow, but with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Ugh, everybody's, everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher up. Ups, uh, tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? 
You're quite strong, but I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. Aw, that's cute. You worried about her. I'll tell you what, after I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. All right? Some seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You coming, say? Nah, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay, son, take care. Bye. She's such a worrywart. That means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, uh, why does my helmet smell like bacon? <laughs> Don't ask. Uh, bacon? Not that I mind. I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? It must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. Not that it, bacon got used on it or anything like that. Uh, I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing and that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell, the, to tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on, Zaibatsu, Cor Zaibatsu Corpse? Uh, okay, usually if the S is at the end, that means it's core. But this one's corpse? I don't know main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight Division. Something about the associate's fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately they seem restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information to the manager. Wow, this song. <laughs> and I was picked because he trusted me. Oh yeah, groovy jams. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton that you n you'd never give the wrong message, but it's his intention that counts. <laughs> uh, oh, finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. Oh, hi there. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing other clients. Oh, come on. You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> it's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Oh, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. Uh, one for both? One for each. All right. Two blue fairies are due. Here we go. Blue fairies. Okay. One, two, three, four. One and optional carmadrine. Let's just toss them in. Why not? Um, okay. And uh, all aged and mixed. Here we go. Done. Next. Uh, one, two, three, four. One and optional karma train. One, two. Mixed and. Oops. Ah Reset. Damn it. One, two, three, four. One, one, two. Aged. Mixed. Done. I am getting amazing at this. Two fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue like your hair. It is. So, what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. All right, Say. I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, Say. Say, Say. Say, why did you buy? Why did you just buy me a drink? Uh, I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Ah, uh, wow. You have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes scr <laughs> Butt Boy over there. Mm. Ooh, what do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one of that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here, 
in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about de deal? Deal? Giving you a ticket the other day. Who? Oh yeah, the little one with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. <sighs> your tongue is is a BEB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your, your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. What about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD113 of Rial uh, Rialta Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. S so Class G of Article 17 in the law of in the augmentations and modifications law on the topic of ballistic augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civ civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. Uh, what are you going to do? Nothing. Uh? I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. And even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Uh, oh! I want to know, though. Why go through with that upgrade? Uh, a girl's got to take care of herself, you know? I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Can I give you some advice? I guess... The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changes into, a, into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I see. Well, I've got to go. <laughs> yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once is, uh, once is self-defense. Anything more is assault. Y yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. Please come again. Oh no, baby! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I thought she was gonna take me away! They would put my they would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years! Two if I behave well! That's what happens when you underestimate people, Dorothy. Although I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensile. Wait, prehensile? Prehensile. I'm gonna look this one up. Oh, um, we, we have got to round off the episode, too. Here we go. Prehensile. Definition. Here we go. Chiefly of an animal's limb or tail capable of grasping. Okay, I guess just very grasp. You could grasp well. Intuitive. Also... Oh, 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 the tongue. She, she means the tongue, not Jill. Very prehensile. Intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints? Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating? Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible, you know? And it makes it feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Uh, all right, then. So you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people and all? Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilum. What can you say about me, then? Let's see. Hmm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know who who you know who won't return your feelings. Oh, Dana! <laughs> Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. <laughs> oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly, Dorothy! All that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullcrap, if you will. You'd be sur surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. 
but this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you'd let me satisfy your frustrations, I could stop for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Oh, wait, what did she say? Sorry. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, wait, whoop. Uh, fine, fine. Bye-bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, butt boy. <laughs> All right, so let's end off here. Um, I don't know if we're about to go to our room or if it's the end of the day, but we're ending the episode off here. Holy crap, this is this is really fun. This is fun. It's just we're just chatting with people and they don't give you exposition of everything right off the bat. You just kind of learn a little tiny bit about the world, but the rest is through text messages, through just talking to people and hearing them talk about their experience and their day-to-day -day life. I'm enjoying this a lot and I hope you are too. Join me for the next one. This is Axis, over and out.